Do do do. Mousy Marsh. Hey guys, it's Mousy Mars here. And oh my god, that uh, my boots have gone again. My boots. We're really gonna have to start getting started on our nano suit soon. We can actually afford it now. It's a lot of diamonds, but I think. One second. Let's check how much I've mined. Oh yeah, this is upgraded to a diamond chest now. So in here, all right, we've got nine. So let's just decraft all of these blocks. So I put everything in blocks for some reason. We'll just have them like this because we've got a massive chest. So we've got a few stacks of diamonds now. I was doing some thorncraft stuff. Hang on. Uh, so I've done lots of thorncraft, by the way. I'll show you. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, so if I just go ahead and search nano suit. Oh. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's also this advanced nano thing which we are going to make because the nano suit doesn't actually have a jetpack. You may have mentioned, you may have seen me mention this uh, advanced one before. We're actually going to make that today. Uh, we might not make the entire nano suit, but we're definitely going to be making this here today because we can we can easily afford it. Um, it is fairly expensive, I think. Let's let's count. There's no left from crystals in that uh, or that. I think it's just. I think it might be just this middle thing. So it's just five five diamonds for this. And this oh, here's... Th there's another two of them. Oh, four diamonds oh, gives you oh, nine oh. of that endearium dust. Why is it this? So in actual fact, that is one, two, three, four... Uh, five... Oh, okay. So yes. it's going to be... We're going to have to make... 18 of this, so it will take about 8 diamonds, but not really 8 diamonds because so we'll have some more of this left over. I can't be bothered to do the math, but it's way. fairly good um, to make this. Now, to make the chest plate here, we just use another. Uh, what Where is it? Else? 1, 2, 3, 4. So not like half of a diamond How's for these two fibre so cables. The and then carbon again. plates, which we just have to I make a compressor thought. for, and it's literally just um, carbon to make the, the carbon plate there. Uh, put two of them together for the carbon um, mesh, and then finally right, so wait, we compress it to make this. Right. Now the nano suit body armor does require four diamonds, uh, which is fairly cheap to be honest. So we can actually make that up. Now the leggings, four diamonds. Um, so it's actually kind of cheaper than diamond boots to make the nano boots, technically. Although then again, I don't know because it is it is coal, uh, what is it pulverized coal. So four call for each of these things, okay, which right, call, we literally have an abundance off here, okay, well, so not even a big deal. Okay, another four diamonds for that, another four diamonds for the chest okay. plate, and for the helmet, no, four diamonds fixed. here, now the night vision okay, goggles. Yeah, this is where it starts to become Shit. quite complex, so we need the yeah. advanced heat exchanger, which is just lapis plates and okay. stuff, fairly I'll straightforward, heat, okay. fairly oh, straightforward yes. for the heat exchanger. Uh, but the helmet, I always hate crafting the helmet. Three battery easy to make. Uh, reinforced glass, advanced alloys, compress this, which is pretty easy yeah, to make again. Sleep, it just it just takes time really, you know, I mean, it's, it's just, just one of those things and then we just make this. So really, really we can make quickly. all of the nano suit this episode uh, and then that would stop us run. having this happen every time we fly up high. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to make, Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, actually going to do this right now, is if yeah, I'll show you the research we've done as well, actually. Okay. So, since last episode, I've went through and completed all of this. Now, now some things to point out here. You want to get the research mastery. It gives you a 50% chance that you will regain the research point, which is really useful. And a 10% chance that, uh, let's see, whenever you place an aspect into, the, into this the thing here. So, whenever you do that and wow. drop it in, it oh, won't wow. actually use that research. 10% chance. Okay, this here is just for sharing research. We're not really going to do any of that uh, on, on camera. Deconstruction table, we talked about that last episode. So uh, Now, for, these are all for node trapping, which means we can actually move nodes over here, which is awesome. We'll probably leave them in the jars, though. Um, so in here, that just tells you that you can do it. And then um, master node trapping. So essentially, now you can draw is three times faster so that's a very good one to have the node preserver means that you leave one of each aspect inside the node and the node in the jar allows us to build this structure around the node to get it inside the jar okay, which is awesome uh, now this tab here I've, I've went ahead and made all of these aspects that I could and I think I've already made up one of them so the excavator one so if we um, 
no, no, don't I think go it's up. F. We can select the excavator one, and uh, let's let's go ahead, go down here, no, tap don't, right there. Don't go up there. Basically, it's just it just digs for us, and it's pretty quick as well. It does use uh, Terra when we do that, by the way. I this one was kind of. I don't think I filled it up completely, but I've done some crafty stuff. Oh, I did fill it up completely. Okay, so uh, I, I must have used Terra for something. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up make, making up all of these ones too. They're just, like I said last episode, um, Water Shard. If it's blue in the middle, it's blue on the outside. Uh, so Diamond for this one. Potato, yellow, yellow. See? Quicksilver. And then these Balance Shards are a bit... Co more complex. We're going to have to use a crucible yeah. for this, so I will do this on camera. Basically, throw in anything into the crucible, and you can wait, get that okay. out. But you actually have to throw in the stuff to make up this. So you have to look at what stuff's made of, and then throw them in here to make this. And I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you can smelt these to get this uh, as Mondes, which isn't really necessary yet until we do Thormic Tinkers. We can't like find out what stuff's made of, you know, when we do we, we hold down on this. We can't do that with the gobbles of revealing unfortunately. Uh, so we do need to keep keep this. Oh hang on, we should make the uh, where is it? We should make this other thing first. The little Oh no we don't oh, I was thinking of a different recipe. Okay, yeah we I've done this completely wrong, haven't I? <gasps> Kill him. Like this. Okay, and now... No, it's not like that, is it? I put glass in instead of leather. Of course I have. I actually uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And then throw our wand in. Now, whenever we craft stuff in this, this amount of each aspect will get taken out of our wand. Luckily, we've got quite a bit in our wand, so it doesn't really matter. Now, when we throw these on... It does take down our armor rating, as you can see, by half, because our helmet is so low durability. But now, if we fly over here to this node that we have here, we should just be able to see the node. Yeah, look, there we go. We can just see it straight away. And it really helps. So now we can actually fill up this wand on this. And now we can actually see the node. And now we can just draw from it. And we can see how, exactly how much the node has inside it and how much we're drawing from the node. And Shift F will actually get rid of your whatever's on your wand. So yeah, this this will help me fly around and kind of there's nodes over there and there's loads over there. That's actually a magical biome. Um, so yeah, it will help me basically go around finding nodes to use my thermometer on, so I can get some more aspects for some more research. Um, but today I don't really want to do a thorncraft episode. I really just want to. Uh, throw all of our Thorncraft stuff in there, including our amazing goggles are revealing. Today what I really want to do is just get into some more IC2 stuff, because why not? I think uh, I want to try and get a balance between our magic and our kind of technology stuff, um, so that everyone's got stuff that, that they like to watch. So the first thing we're going to need for the nano suit is this here, uh, what is it? Compressor. Yeah, compressor. So we just need some stone, basic machine, and an electronic circuit. So we'll go ahead, we will get some cobblestone. Go ahead and throw this down inside our kerns. In here, we'll just make up a stack of smooth stone. We've got plenty of cobblestone, plenty of it. And, uh, oh yeah, the other thing, just before we continue making this, we'll wait for that to smell up. I want to get a harvester going to kind of smelt up. I mean, it's not, not smell, uh, pick all of our berries for us. Because that, that is something that will be really useful. Uh, so let's go in here, grab this, grab what we need here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. We only need four. So now we also need, for the other stuff here, we need some iron plates, which we have plenty of. And I think we need some copper wire and some redstone. Yeah. Okay. And we need some rubber. Okay, so recipe on this. Oh. Let's make up that many. Let's make the case here. Make one of them. And. Oh. We're, we're actually one short. So that's just. Perfect. 
Oh yeah, and you, also the goggles self-revealing uh, allow you to see what's on these things, I think. But actually, hang on, we saw it in the chest down here. We seen what that was made of for a sec. Ah, oh, right, yeah. If we hold shift over stuff, we can see what it's made from. And then that will help us um, because basically, let's see. Um, let's get something that's. If you hold down shift, it will show you. So. Okay, let's see. Let's let's get some redstone. I want to show. You. I know I said tech, but. No, I kicked him. Oh, oh well, no, okay. Don't I'm place bad. that in front of your face. You kept throwing. So if we f go ahead and throw this in here, we can see that we should get uh, Peredo and the Geary thing. So we have a chance of getting one of those from this redstone. Hopefully, it will give us one. If it doesn't, then that's fine. But that's how uh, that's how you can tell what's good for deconstruction. Anyway. I just wanted to mention that because I hadn't mentioned it in the video. So now let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves this compressor. Perfect. And also we'll make ourselves some more tin wire and we'll place down this metal former down there as well. So we'll grab out a few of these. And then we'll throw all of this back in. Oh yeah, also, I am... Um, I was kindly donated by Mr. Autumn. Uh, something which you guys are going to love. <laughs> well, later on, anyway. We have now got one iridium ore. And that's what we use for this uh, reinforced iridium plate to get into the solar panels and our quantum suit, which is awesome. But I know what you're thinking. One is not enough to do that. No, no, no. That's because we're actually going to have to use a use parts of industrial craft industry craft too. There, there's stuff like the um, can I find it yeah the scanner the pattern storage and the uh, replicator we use these to replicate the iridium from UU matter hey, we'll which we get page. from using the I think it might be the recycler. The recycler has something to do with UU matter, I know that, but we're not going to get into that yet. But that will allow us to make that quantum suit, which is the higher level armor that we will get towards end game after we get the nano suit. So we'll go ahead and throw these in like that, because we have space for them now. So now we have our compressor and our metal form in here. We're actually, we're doing really fine on the lava, I think. We can't really. I need to check this because I haven't actually touched our lava cell for so long. Yeah, look, we're we're still doing perfectly good on all of that. That which is that's just awesome. Uh, okay, so uh, let's throw them in there. So now, if we go back to the nano suit, nano suit. I'll just type in nano because then we can get the oh, there's nano savers. We'll make one of these and play around with it, I guess. So let's take a look. The first thing I want to make is this chest plate. So we need to get some carbon plates. To do that, we need four coal. It's pulverized, which we can. So if we just take, let's just do a stack of them. I'm not sure how many we actually need, but I'm, I'll take it. Oh, that's not going to work. Into there. Should work, yeah. So we'll take out our upgrade so that it'll do it. Okay, guys, so I've got the first set of carbon mesh made up. We Why still have quite a lot to go through and a lot of diamond too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the compressor and we should be able to get our first of this carbon plate. Now, you can see I've got the overclocker here. These machines are just really, really slow right now. I, I think it's probably because I'm used to them being quick based on my other series where I've got like 12 overclockers in every single machine. Uh, some of them 16 overclockers and multiple so machines and AE set up so that's probably why you know I think these are slow they're probably really quick for most of you guys <laughs> you don't play modded um, but I want to make some overclockers just one or two for each machine uh, and obviously get another geothermal because we are doing fine on our fuel and we could easily put another one there on camera uh, and then I'll probably make the overclockers off camera uh, after I show you guys how this all works. Late, so um, we're going to make... Now I see that there's a solid canning machine, which is weird. This... I don't know why you'd make a solid canning machine. I guess it has its uses, maybe. But it just doesn't... I don't, I don't know why you would uh, just make this one. 
So we need some of these tin Amazing. things. So to get these, we need some tin plates. Is it really? And we actually need one, two, three, four, five, six, I seven of them. I spiky in my profile picture. Uh, so Just look at four of these plates the should do. Because obviously once you do this, you get <laughs> double the amount out. <laughs> and then we also need Wait, a basic machine, which is just oh, that again. Um, so we need some redstone, iron plates, oh, and one, nine, like, uh, that's it. Oh no, we need some copper cable as well. So we'll grab. Wait, oh, we need one more rubber places. to Wait, do to this. Search for me. How do you search? Uh, right, that, which is good. So wow. now we need to get around Mine, here. Okay, and then we'll go up here and we'll grab ourselves a tin cable to plug this in. You should click, click, add frame. Okay. Yeah, but look at my badges. Look at the badges in hand. So now that we have this... 28 badges. Canning machine. We now need a bucket of water, no, no, no. which I have inside here. Oh, bucket of water no, and some no lapis. And now I think we also need no, uh, just, just a can, which I we should have. have. Yeah, we do. We have some. We have some cans right there. So we'll come down here, and we need three of these little things. So just stick that. Not gonna let us stick it in, which we can't do yet because we haven't done that. Tank. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves one of these. Where are they? Fluid thingies. Come down here. It's a shame that you can't just tap the water on to it, but hey. You don't need two of them. These tanks are awesome, though. You just place them down and they make your tank bigger. It's pretty cool. I recognise it. And then we will click here. Extract. Done. Oh, look, 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 I'm, I'm now I'm not sure how we get the lapis in here. Oh, okay, guys. So I see what we have to do. I think we have to change the mode on this thing to uh, I think it's that mode. Yeah, and then we can place lapis in that slot. And then it will do it. So it's fluid and rich. So we're enriching this with lapis to make a coolant. And I think that's what it does. And then we can then place the cells in there or in there. I'll be right back, guys. No? Okay, guys, I'm back and I've made up everything we need. Now, this took quite some time. This is actually, I think, two days after I filmed the last bit. Um. Actually, no, I filmed the last bit yesterday. It's been over 24 hours. But anyway, so I've now finally got everything that we need, even to make this advanced jetpack here. So let's just go ahead and... You're not going to let me click you in? No? Okay. So let's just go ahead and craft up each piece of this armour. One thing I forget, rubber. Okay. You can. This is very expensive, by the way. I think we've got through like so, so many diamonds. All of my copper is gone. I actually had to go mining, and I've still ran out of copper. So, uh, yeah, that's it's really quite bad. I think we might have to just get a quarry set up soon. Uh, I will have to go mining for some more copper. So now, this this advanced nano suit. I'll, I'll go ahead and start getting this charged because um, we are going to upgrade our power as well so it's going to actually I don't even think we can charge this no, we can't even charge this and it's tier 3 so um, I'll, after we make up this jetpack I'll show you how the, all, all of this, we're actually using tin cable which is tier 1 that CSU is tier 2 uh, so you can see it's 128 Whereas we were on a bat box which was 32 EU a tick, so we've actually had to use a low voltage transformer here so that none of our machines explode. Obviously, they don't explode in this pack because it's disabled, but if that was enabled, you know, then that's what would happen. So, once we make this MFE, if we want to still be able to use all these machines, 
we're going to have to make ourselves some transformer upgrades which is these things and they're, they're fairly cheap uh, so I'd probably just make up two of these for every single machine to get us onto the right tier and then we will be able to charge our stuff in the MFE and that will be tier 3 ok guys so I just went into a creative world just to test out if we could actually use this um, nano chest plate in the MFE and we can so I'm going to go ahead and craft that up so it's just quite easy just like this done advanced nano chest plate and now we have some extremely good armor so once we get this power sorted out which we're not actually going to do this episode um, we're kind of running out of time here so uh, that will be done next episode um, but yeah and then we can get all of this stuff here charged up you see it says tier 3 there so yeah and the other thing that I'm going to make is this here nano saber so it takes two carbon one of these alloys and stuff so let's go ahead and grab that out because I think this here will be really cool to use as a sword and our swords breaking anyway so um, what do we need? okay two of these and glowstone yeah okay and then we can use a nano saber as well which is just awesome nano saber perfect and uh, it is plus four attack damage plus seven attack damage hmm maybe it's got like a special ability or something we'll have to see I, I don't think we can charge it in our in our crappy thing down here well it's not crappy but it's a C issue no we can't okay so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here basically and then next episode we will go ahead and take a look at upgrading our power and getting all of this charged up so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time